Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about uh, using Visivig HTML editor on product page. So let's see how can we use Visivig HTML editor on add product and edit product page. So first of all, let's add the tiny MC CDN uh, to the project. Okay, so for that, uh, go to the Google and inside Google, let's search here tiny MC. Any MC, all right. And now just click on this first link. And inside Tiny MC, let's create an account. So click on sign up. Now enter here email ID and enter any password. And now let's click on create my Tiny account. I have already created an account, so let's click on this link. Uh, already have an account. And now enter the email ID and password and just click on sign in. Okay, this is Tiny MC dashboard. Uh, from Tiny MC dashboard, uh, let's copy this script. Uh, so just copy from here uh, to here. All right, uh, just copy and uh, paste inside the base layout file. So switch to the project and let's open the base layout file. So for that, just go inside the resources directory, then views, uh, layouts, and from here just open base.blade.php file. And inside this file, just go to the page bottom, uh, bottom of the page, and uh, after this uh, script, uh, just paste here. All right. Now save this. Now let's use this uh, uh, Tiny MC Visible HTML Editor on Add Product Component. Okay. So for that, just open the admin Add Product Component .php file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, live wire, admin, and from here just open admin add product dash component dot blade dot php file. This one. Okay. And inside this file, uh, let's use tiny mc uh, with editor with sort description and description. Okay. So first of all, add the ID with Short description and also add ID with uh, description. Okay, so in this text area, let's add here the ID. ID is equal to add here the ID uh, short description and inside this text area, add the ID description. All right. Okay, and also add inside this div wire colon ignore. Okay, and also add here for the description where colon load. All right, and now go to the page bottom and uh, here let's add here the add the rate post directive uh, post and add here a script. All right, and now just close this post directive in post. And inside this directive, uh, let's add here the script tag and dollar function. And inside this, uh, let's initiate the TDMC. So for that, just type here tdmce dot init. And inside this method, just pass here curly bracket and uh, add here the selector colon pass here the texture ID so let's copy the texture ID sort description so just copy this ID and uh, here put the hash sign and paste here the ID Alright, now add here the comma and uh, 
set up call and callback function and pass the parameter editor editor all right and curly uh, bracket and just write here editor dot on and bind the event change change event and add here the callback function and pass an argument e all right inside this callback function just call here any mc dot trigger c now let's create a variable uh, let's say variable is st data sort description data and get the value from the sort description so for that just write here dollar add here the hash sign and id so just write this id sort description and call here the value method okay and now set the value uh, this value st underscore data uh, inside the property okay so for that just write here the at the rate this dot set and add here the property name property name is sort description so write here sort description and pass here the st underscore data that's all all right now let's copy this uh, from here to here and paste here and now change here the id for the description so just remove this okay id description and also change here remove this as description and also change here okay d underscore data and d underscore data for the description data all right okay now save this file now go to the details component.blade.php file so from resources directory uh, resources liveware and uh, from here just you can see here this is details as component.blade.php file uh, just open this file and inside this file uh, let's find the sort description you can see here the product sort description so for rendering the html content uh, just remove this and add here double exclamation sign and also remove this curly bracket and add here double exclamation sign okay now it's rend uh, it can be rendered the html okay html data and also change inside the description so you can see here this is the description okay so also remove from here and add here double exclamation sign and also add here double exclamation sign all right okay now save this now it's done so let's check it so switch to the browser and refresh the page Now let's click on add new. And you can see here uh, a tiny MC Visivic HTML editor for the sort description and for the description. Okay. Now let's create a new product. So add here the title. Uh, let's say title is Titanium Watch. Okay and add here the sort description so i'm just going to copy the text and paste here for the description now let's make it bold so select this and click on b and also this one all right and now add here the description so just copy this and paste here okay now make some formatting so 
select this and make it heading so select this one and from here just select uh, this one heading 4 all right and make it bold brand, brand color so select and click on the bold also make it bold All right, this is simple HTML formatting. All right, and now let's add here the regular price. Uh, let's say regular price is 450 and uh, sale price, uh, let's say 420 and SKU, DC 987. That's all. all right. Stock status in the stock which had no quantity, let's say 11. Browse the product image like this one. Choose the category. All right, all done. Now just click on submit, and you can see here product has been created successfully. Now let's check this pro uh, product. So click on home link. And inside the latest product carousel, you can see here the newly created product. Now just click on this link. Okay. Let me watch. All right. And you can see here uh, inside the sort description, you can see here the HTML text, okay, HTML formatted text, and inside the description, you can see here the description. All right. Now let's use uh, this Visivic HTML editor on edit product component. So for that, switch to the project and let's open the admin edit product component or php file. So for that, just go inside the admin directory, uh, resources, views. Uh, live wire admin and from here just open admin edit product uh, dash component dot blade dot php file and inside this file uh, uh, let's add the id first so inside the sort description text area just write here the id id is equal to just copy and paste here all right and also add here wire colon ignore okay and now add the id inside the description text area id is equal to this one description and inside this div add here wire colon ignore okay and now let's copy uh, this is script so just copy from here to here all right and paste inside this admin uh, edit for a component or blade php file Go to the bottom and just paste here all right now save this now it's done so let's check the sources to the browser and uh, go to the all product all right next page all right now just click on edit link And now you can see here the uh, Visivic text editor for the sort description and uh, description in the, uh, inside the edit product page. Okay. 
So this way you can use WYSIWYG HTML editor on add product and edit product page. So that's all about using WYSIWYG HTML editor on product page. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.